Hello everyone, it's me Ibrahim here and uh, this is me first time coming on camera on my YouTube channel. There's a good reason for that. Um, it's because I want to share a really exciting news uh, which is uh, about me becoming a VMware V expert. So um, earlier last month I applied for the VMware V expert for 2019 and guess what guys I have been selected as a V expert for 2019 and uh, thanks to you guys for um, you know supporting me and subscribing to my channel and obviously um, liking my blogs and uh, YouTube videos um, I have successfully um, achieved the VMware VExpert uh, this year so um, for those of you who don't know what VExpert is um, more information can be found on my blog which is uh, agileops or agileops.com um, I have opened it here hang on uh, let me quickly open it for you so again be sure to sub leave your email address and your name uh, because I'm going to start curation of uh, uh, content here from the top uh, virtualization bloggers so you, if you want it directly in your inbox then be sure to leave your email address and subscribe on my um, new website agileops.co.uk so this is in the blog post which I have recently done on VMware VExpert 2019 so um, as I was saying so there are three categories um, under which you can apply for uh, VMware VExpert so um, for those of you who don't know about this program VMware VExpert is an honorary title which um, which VMware uh, grants to selected people who apply for the program so um, they are open twice a year uh, no, uh, in November for the January um, selections and in June for the end of July beginning of August selection so it's called the second half so it's usually for the people who couldn't go through on the first year um, on the first half of the year so they uh, reapply with some changes and they get selected so luckily for me I got selected for the first time when I applied so I'm quite chuffed of all about it and um, really excited um, also what uh, what I want to share is um, along with the logos which I'm not allowed to use on my blog and everywhere else I have where is it um, I have been I have got a certificate from VMware saying VMware be expert so as you can see in recognition and thanks for your significant contribution to VMware virtualization and cloud community so this is it guys so and again thanks to all of the people who have subscribed who have liked on my YouTube channel on my uh, LinkedIn Facebook there's a lot of people who uh, you know like my post my friends and other people who are following me um, another good news which I want to share is I have reached 500 subscribers today so thank you again guys and I want to try and reach uh, 1000 as soon as possible so be sure to share share this um, uh, subscribe and obviously once you subscribe you'll get a notification bell make sure you hit the bell so that you get uh, the weekly content I post two videos a week so one is on Monday 10 o'clock GMT and one is on Thursday 10 o'clock GMT um, again so big thanks to everyone uh, also I wanted to do a really different thing today I wanted to go through some of the um, yeah this is what I'm going to do so I'm going to re read some of the comments which uh, I've been getting from you guys and uh, let's get started then so let's open it in here so I got an interesting comment this morning so this was when I posted the video for hot ad on CentOS um, can you do uh, can you do the video without the silly Indian accent well I've been living here in the UK for 14 years now and uh, if I can't drop my Indian accent now uh, I don't think I think you have to live with it mate but um, as you can see I have sent I have replied to the comment hi thanks for the message sure I'll try and 
uh, sure I will I will try hope you <laughs> like the demo which I posted on the the video and I asked him to feel free to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification I could potentially try to do a little bit Scottish or maybe South African accent but I know I'm not going to be good at it so this is me and obviously I think I don't have a strong Indian accent or maybe I do I don't I don't really know so I guess I do comment on below and let me know if I do um, but yeah I think well my accent is pretty much mix of British and Indian now so I don't know so okay let's keep on reading the comments so Muhammad Asif Khan thank you very much for um, posting your comment this is a good one I wish you come back with more informative videos of course I will as I have mentioned this morning or 14 hours ago um, be sure to subscribe and I will be posting new content every week and you'll get it in your uh, inbox on YouTube okay another one from uh, Jerry Jones J or uh, Jerin Jerin Jones sorry um, how to create storage using free NAS please uh, make a video on it okay so and that's in my to-do list I'm going to do that um, as soon as obviously um, I'm done with the storage uh, sessions which I'm running I'm going to record a brand new session on that um, step by step how to create a free NAS installation using free NAS ISO and then obviously the second step is how to prepare your ESX host to uh, present um, uh, how to present it from FreeNAS and how to you know uh, get it uh, added on the software initiators using um, iSCSI targets okay that's something which you will be doing another message from uh, 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 Ashutosh sorry Ashutosh Verma how to create storage using FreeNAS okay it's the same thing again yeah so both of these guys have posted the same request so it's twice so it has double the priority now and definitely Ashutosh it's on my to-do list and um, I am going to do a session on how to install FreeNAS first and then how to present it to the ESX host don't worry about that um, okay and who else so again another one from Ashutosh Verma hi I like some I like someday understand the vcpu and socket things um i mostly so mm, the time get confused with okay so vcpus and socket it's uh, it's a trade off really uh, ashitosh so there's no right or wrong answer for this uh, honestly speaking you can have one you can probably give to your virtual machine two sockets and two cpus which is in total four virtual cpus or you can give one socket and four cores which is uh, a single socket and eight cores on on a single socket itself um so i could potentially do a little bit of um, a theory around it so i'll add to that i i'll add it to my list again so i think that's all i have time for today uh, okay guys thank you very much and um, i hope to do more of comment reading sessions as well i uh, i enjoyed it and i enjoyed coming on the uh, camera and um, showing my face to you guys uh, so comment on below and let me know um what else do you guys um, want and um, i'll be adding it to my to-do list and um, I'll, a big thanks to everyone and uh, we are nearly done with uh, more than half of the sessions which i'm i wanted to cover we are covering or uh, finishing off with the story uh, storage and um, shared storage topic now so then we'll jump on networking and that's it pretty much uh, i'll be covering some PowerShell uh, cli and other stuff which will help you guys and that will be it guys okay then thank you very much bye bye see you later